Disclaimer, I just want to say this is a game and this is not to be taken seriously. So YouTube, stop. Thank you for understanding that this is just for entertaining purposes. Please don't ban me. Ah, Italy. The birthplace of many things like pizza, spaghetti, Leonardo da Vinci, and many more. But more specifically, organized crime with the mafias. So, let's take over southern Italy from the Reds, reunite Italy, and unite the criminal underworld as the Sicilian Mafia in Kaiser Redux. So, to actually unite the criminal underworld, we'll need to use some custom game rules as getting both Al Capone and the syndicates in China by pure luck is, well, almost impossible. And even then you will see that getting the Chinese criminals by custom game rules doesn't really even work that properly, but those are spoilers. With that out of the way, we can start the actual run. So, as southern Italy, we start out in a pretty bad situation as we control the agricultural part of Italy instead of the industrial north. Also, as you may expect, people are not exactly happy with our rule. In addition to general opposition to our government, we have other internal threats such as religious fanatics and even the fascists, which have nothing to do with Mussolini this time around. And we even have a crazy guy called Ebola who believes in neo-paganism or something and wants to restore the Roman Empire. But that's not going to deter us from beginning our fourth national congress so that we can stabilize our failing regime. The first order of business is the economy as usual. If we are to reunite the whole peninsula and even take on the Austrian menace, we will need to industrialize under any means necessary. Internally, our policy of having local communes has worked out quite well in the past, so we shall give the agricultural communes more authority. Finally, our stance on reli in religious matters shall be to become a secular state so that we do not incite the Catholic fanatics and we do not alienate our more atheist supporters. But by balancing all the three major parties, no party has been able to secure total control, so now we are left with a proper leading government. This has sparked a rebellion with General Giovanni Messe launching a coup in Naples. Taking advantage of this situation, the fascists, the Catholic fanatics, and even the Sicilian Mafia have taken to the streets to fight over the future of the region. As the dust settles, it's clear that with every other faction vying for power left decimated over the infighting, the Mafia has swooped in, has taken control of the decaying state. As the Mafiosos are now in charge of an actual state, some changes are needed. A structure doesn't really work when ma managing a proper country, so it's time to restructure the entire system. Even though many of our political rivals were eliminated during the march on Naples, the reality is that a lot of enemies still roam around our turf, so it's time that we rat them out through some intimidation tactics. Now that we are in fact the actual government, we can legalize a lot of our income methods such as protection rackets. Of course, since our government is still quite new, we need to start designating the chain of command. Local feuds have no place in our state anymore, as we are no longer just a bunch of petty criminals, but instead a proper establishment. Our operations are still stuck just under our jurisdiction in Sicily and Naples, so it's time we branch out into the north and prepare for the eventual war. Our mafiosos, even if they are quite effective, they still lack the proper cohesion and discipline, so it's time we straighten them up and turn them into a proper army. And hey, why limit ourselves just to Italy when we already have an inside man in the Americas? Our new state does not require oversight. With our mafiosos reformed, they are quite capable of governing themselves without any intervention by the big boss. Now it's time we actually get ready for a confrontation with the North, as such we will need the appropriate contacts. Guns are quite profitable, especially in a world constantly in flames, so let's make them a proper source of income. While we could deny the reality of our operations, the truth is that there will always be violence, so why lie to our population? The state does not actually have a legal code per se, since, uh, well, we are criminals, but just because we do not abide by the official law, that doesn't mean that we are savages. We have a code of honor, and that shall be the base for a new system. 
Finally, it's time we strike north and take over the rich heartland of Italy, so that we may expand our reach to even greater heights. Taking the Pope by surprise, our delinquent army crossed the unofficial border between our states into Rome itself, taking the old great city back. After this, we quickly established ourselves as the successors to the old Italian kingdom, laying claim for our Risorgimento. The war continued as we quickly crossed the mountains and hills used as natural borders by the northern Italians, and we quickly made a dash into the other side of the peninsula, cutting most of the Pope's army. After that bloodbath, it was a simple walk through into Milan. And with that, we had reunited with our northern brethren. But the question now was, what were we going to do with the newly conquered lands? We could give the conquered lands back to the Pope so that he could administer, administrate them for us, or kick him back to the Vatican and take control of the peninsula ourselves. If we want to expand our operations, the decision is pretty clear on this matter. And just in time, as our little friend in the Americas has finally reared its head out, but we still have no luck with the triad syndicates. Anyway, Italy is still not completely unified as those damn Austrians still control over our precious Venice and Dalmatia. So let's use this opportunity while the Germans are distracted with the commie French to attack the Austrians. Initially, we didn't do so well as the amount of divisions, thanks to the decentralized nature of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, made any offensive a slog, but slowly but surely, we were advancing. Seeing the bog down in the front, our troops needed that extra firepower, so it was time that our best mafiosos came up with something to break the Austrian lines, and they came up with this beauty right here. But to even get enough tanks into production would take a while, so we instead focus our industrial efforts in the air war and with proper air support, our troops could finally break through the front into Venice. With the fall of Venice and the capitulation of the Austrian bootlickers, this left the path open into Austria and Dalmatia open. Thank you. 
Eventually, the bootlickers lost all credibility and sued for peace, finally bringing back the trading hub of the medieval ages back into our hands. While we were having troubles pushing through into Istria, the Austrian front in the north collapsed. As such, our divisions flooded in and even encircled the troops in Trieste. With our superb performance against the Austrians, they came up with a proposal of peace. But we will not be satisfied until we punish the Austrians for meddling in Italian affairs, so to Vienna we march. Our tanks were now ready for combat, but the Austrians no longer posed a threat anymore, so it was really just a matter of defeating them with a glorious parade in Vienna. And after the fall of Vienna, the entire empire capitulated, so it was time to redraw some borders. Finally, with our local front secured, we were ready to join the international stage where we will unite the criminal underworld. Of course, with Mr. Capone taking over the US, it's only natural to befriend the behemoth of the West. Besides that, the borders were redrawn with the Sandys taking Czechia, I took all of Illyria, puppeted Austria and Hungary, but interestingly enough, Russia pissed out the Germany. This was the first time I ever have ever seen this event fire before, but it really didn't matter as the Germans were still dying to the Frenchies. With America joining our criminal alliance, the only one remaining to join were the Triad Syndicate, but just uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, the custom game rules didn't really work and they went for the Japanese route, so after taking matters into my own hands and forcing the correct events, we could finally invite the masterminds of the East. And so now we had a presence all around the world, with either Capone taking over operations in the New World, the Triad Syndicates exploiting the Asian market, and with us having a monopoly in the Old World, and our criminal empire at our hands that knew no bounds, we can truly say that Italy is dangerously rich in culture. And that's it for today's video, I will be leaving the campaign here for today. I really hope you enjoyed this campaign, even if it was a bit shorter than usual, but quite detailed. By a point you will be seeing this video, by Blood Alone would have already been released, so expect new live streams covering the new DLC. If you would like to see the hope you enjoyed that remember that if you would like to see this type of content in the future, subscribe to the channel as this helps me out. This was Effectus Expert. You are dismissed, soldier!